Hey, how are you? I really hope you're enjoying watching the videos. I even am watch, I'm enjoying watching them as well and just reflecting and seeing what I said. So I really hope that you are enjoying them. Uh, my name is Angie Morenga and you're watching Just Angie. Uh, today I want to talk to you about visions and dreams. Um, it's just something that came as we we're having a discussion even with the, with, the, with the team behind this and we just thought this is something that maybe people are, want to know about. Um, so I'll handle first, I think I'll talk about dreams or maybe I should define what they are because visions um, is something that you have when you're when you're like awake, you know, it's, it's something that you, ha you, uh, that you have when you're awake. It could be a perception, it could be a picture. Some people see very clear pictures um, of what it is. And some even, it can be like a movie, like it's playing out. But a dream and, um, happens when you're asleep and, and that's when you have this dream. Now, the thing with um, dreams and visions, um, in the book of Joel, the Lord says that he will speak to us um, in dreams and visions, that he will cause old men, young men, old women, young women. He really goes to lengths to elaborate and say that I will speak to them. They will prophesy through dreams and visions. He will download them to, to us. And again, remember it downloads in Hebrews uh, chapter eight, the Lord says that, the Bible says that I will make a new covenant to them. I will write things on their heart and on their mind. So these dreams, these visions are God's way of communicating to us. Um, so number one, when you have dreams, it's important to write them down because they may not, I always say that the things of God are slippery. So you may, you may say, I'll wake up in the morning, unless you have it at night, in the middle of the night, and you're sort of, you're woken up and you, you've had this dream, you should write it down. Why? Because you'll say, and that has happened to me, when I wake up in the morning, I will write it down. In the morning, I can't remember all of it. Then the thing also with dreams, are they recurring? Is it, it's like a message. It's like maybe God is trying to say something. Sometimes he warns us because prophet, the prophecy is used to, to warn people. It's used to build people. It's used to edify. It's used to confirm something. And remember that even as I've gone into that like prophecy is that it should always be something that resonates with your spirit. It shouldn't be really something new that somebody is telling you. And if it is, you need to have it to be confirmed by two or three people. So the dream, you should write it down. And like for me, um, I don't usually have dreams. So when I have a dream and I remember it, I know it's significant. I know that it's an important message because that's not the pattern of my life. There are people who have dreams every night. They can remember those dreams. The dreams are vivid. Um, that's probably God's way of talking to them. And remember I had said that God speaks to us differently. We have different personalities. We have different patterns. And just to jump from that, just to try to show you about patterns, like for me, I have a pattern that if I, if I, if I, if I want to, if I'm supposed to go somewhere, and all of a sudden I feel like I don't want to go, I don't want to go, all sorts of things try to tell me I don't want to go, maybe I just want to sleep on my sofa, I don't even have anything that I need to be doing, but I just don't feel like going. I usually have to go because every time I have overcome that feeling and gone and engaged, um, engaged with whatever it is that I was trying to resist, I find that I'm so blessed. It's exactly what I needed. I probably meet, um, have some serious networks. I mean, there's some serious outcomes, you know, that this um, feeling was just trying to prevent me from, from going. And therefore, when you have dreams, like for me, I said now, write them down. And especially if the dream keeps recurring. Also, I've, I've advised people, they are Christian websites that can interpret your dream because there are also people out there who are interpreting dreams who really it's not coming from the the presence of god you know like so go to christian websites and look for christian interpretation but again ensure that you, it resonates with your spirit I, I keep telling you that we are very we're very strong spiritual we have a very strong spirit man or woman inside us and you need to listen to that spirit that's the that's the thing that tells you Things that can, do not have supporting, you don't have facts about, you know. Somebody will watch somebody, let's say, let me give you an example. Let's say somebody's going to choose a, a minder for their children and they'll have four minders. Just one will resonate with your spirit and they'll say this is the one. But you don't have any facts or any supporting evidence to tell you there's something wrong with these three. But you just say, my spirit just doesn't, it's not connecting or it's not picking this person. So learn to listen to your spirit, man. That's also something else I want to encourage you. Learn to listen to your spirit. Then also, I was, I'm just thinking there's the reverse of that. They are nightmares. And you can be having nightmares and you don't sleep at night. I think, first of all, it's important to pray. Number two, I'd say that there's a scripture that says that, that everything should be brought under the stronghold and captivity of Jesus Christ in Corinthians. So what I do is I pray. I say, Lord, please, um, I'm going to sleep. I'm not going to have any nightmares. My mind belongs to you. And everything that has a stronghold over me, even as I sleep, is brought captive and obedient to Jesus Christ. That way you have, you, you, you have good dreams and not nightmares. 
And if it keeps recurring, please seek somebody that you can pray about it with, somebody you can trust, um, somebody you can trust and that you can pray about it with because you need to pray. And then dreams, also people who, who God speaks through dreams also have to be careful. Um, I advise that if it's a dream, let's say you dream somebody died. You have to be very careful. That's probably a warning and you have to ask, do I pray about this or do I share with the person? So the death one is extreme, but it could be something else that you see about somebody and it recurs like two or three times. The best thing is that when you wake up is, is to pray about it and ask God, should I share? Um, pray about this dream first. Um, ask for wisdom. What do I do? Before you just go out there and, and, and blurt it out to the person and then it causes more trouble. So those are dreamers and dreamers should have journals and they should write down dreams because maybe it's a, it's a pattern, maybe it's a sign, maybe it's a roadmap. Uh, maybe it definitely is a, is a direction on how to pray about something. It's definitely God sometimes giving a warning. This is happening and you can, you can, you can curtail it, you can stop it in its tracks because God warns people. And you know when you, when you talk about prophets, I don't know how we got here, but when you talk about prophets, there were prophets in the city, prophets on the wall, prophets on the mountain. So prophets all were like watchmen. So they like stand, if I, you stand like on a wall and they can see the danger. If I stand on a wall, I, I'm seeing higher and further than you can see if you're standing on the ground. And so that's what um, like a prophetic dream or prophetic insight or a prophetic vision would be about. And then let me go to vision. The Bible says that without a vision, my people perish. So every single one of us has a vision, has a purpose that God has placed in our heart. It's probably something that we can articulate, but maybe it's something that we can't articulate. It's probably uh, something that we're growing towards, that you just feel that you know that this is what you're meant to do and this is how it will end up. That's having a vision. And you see, we, we're, we're using the senses. So your, your vision can be something that you can see, you can touch, you can feel, you can handle, you can taste, but spiritually. You, you, you have more recognition of it spiritually. You're very alert about it spiritually. You don't know how you're going to get there, but you know that you are. And that's so important. Now in Habakkuk, God said, write the vision down. It's very important to keep writing it down. It's very important that it keeps unfolding and growing because even as you grow, as you go through process, as your life progresses, the vision becomes maybe more more tangible, more real. And then remember the other thing with visions and with dreams, and especially when they have instructions or instructions from God, remember that you have to action. So maybe God will give you three instructions. You have to obey them in order to see the rest. That's why we say vision and purpose is always unfolding. Remember I showed you the example where I folded a napkin and I said it's always unfolding. As we obey, as we engage, as we act, as we carry out different actions, as time progresses, as we enter different seasons, this vision, this dream, this purpose keeps unfolding. And so I hope that I've answered your questions on visions and dreams. I do, I do want to mention something. There's a program, and you know, we're getting trouble. There's a program. There, there, there are programs. There's a program that comes even on, um, what is it, on DSTV, I guess. And there's, um, there's like a medium. You know, there's a lady who's there who's a medium. You have to be careful about those things because what happens is, really, somebody who should be telling you about your life, telling you about your future, should be telling you about it from God's perspective. They should be saying that this gift is 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 brought captive and obedient to Jesus Christ. So, if it's a prophet, they are prophesying because God has has given them that ability and they they rely on God and they say this is God says or the Holy Spirit said or this is the impression that I'm getting they've prayed about it so it's connected to prayer because remember there are only two kingdoms the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness there's no there's no third kingdom so you have to be very careful where is what is the source um, of this um, of this information yeah and they're usually accurate they can be accurate because I guess the, the kingdom of darkness is a spiritual world everybody there's a world around us and it, it can be accurate but I don't know I just don't feel like the effects of it might not be very 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 good in the in the future you know it's like the the, the word of God says that that the, the, the manipulation is like the spirit of witchcraft but I always find that um, people even who who, who engage like in witchcraft or have engaged in witchcraft because when we're training, when we're counseling, when we're pastors, we see all sorts of things. The life is not going the right way. So because good purports good, God, God wants good things for you, but it doesn't mean that the, the, the witchcraft and from where they're getting their power and their source is always looking out for the good of you. And so be careful uh, what sources that you're getting your 
your your information or your insight or or even who you're giving your dreams to to interpret those dreams or to interrogate those dreams just be careful who it is that you're talking to and i'll just throw this in here i don't even know how we got here but um the bible says that there'll be a lot of false prophets so you have to be very very careful there are a lot of false prophets the prophecy is a gift that god has given and there are a lot of correct prophets if there's such a word prophets who are moving in the spirit of god and and who have been called by god anointed by god they're in office they're doing what they're supposed to do but there are also many false prophets and again back to discernment your spirit just has to become a discerning spirit so that's i think what i want to talk about vision and dreams having a vision and building towards a vision your vision is is given it's a download from god it can be interpreted by god he'll help you to interpret interrogate it you see god is not into giving like a puzzle without answers that's what i love about god is that when he's uh, he's revealed something let's say through that prophetic vision or through a dream he's revealing so that he wants you to get solutions so you go back to him you go back to what should i do why are you telling me this what's the next uh, step of action what's the next two things that i need to do how do i pray about this who do i share this with um how do we stop this from happening you know or how do we make it happen it's something that he wants to be engaged and wants to be happen especially even like right now um i think in kenya we're in um we're, we're, we're doing the elections a lot of people get a lot of dreams even when incidents have happened you know um when incidents have happened when there's a fire somewhere where there's a maybe even an attack somewhere people have been they get dreams and they begin to pray about them and pray against them and it's good because god is revealing this is what the enemy wants to do but you now as 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 people who pray um try to get this um avert this calamity by coming into joint prayer and even saying that i must say that even as the body of christ um this time in kenya we really come we really done well because we really prayed people have really prayed for their elections people have prayed they have fasted they have done their they are almost to say they do diligence they've done their 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 work as a as a citizen of God's kingdom and um therefore we know that that God is with us and great and good things will happen because God loves this nation he really does it's it's a really um it's what people suggest we refer to as a covenant nation and i must say that Kenya has an apostolic and a prophetic destiny and is going to achieve it and so God has been speaking to people through dreams and through visions so i hope that helps and whatever questions you have uh, please write them in please send them in and uh, we'll do our best to direct you we'll definitely pray about it and we'll we have a, a quite a a resource base here at uh, at Kingdom Business Solutions and the Purpose and Leadership Forum so we'll find people who can help you and um just write in tell us your comments tell us your experiences um tell us whether this helped or whether you want us to add something else or explain something else and and we definitely will so i really hope you've enjoyed that i do as well i love the way that it's evolved um and the way the conversation f- uh, grew and flowed um so thank you so much i'm sending your questions um you're watching just angie and my name is angie morenga god bless you and bye bye